Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about custom buttons in Android Kotlin. So let's start. So I've created this project in which I have this um, activity main.xml file and this main activity.kt file. So this is uh, our code file and this is our design file. So if I go to the designer of this design file, so you can see nothing here. I can drag it in this button from this plate leads directly onto this designer but instead I will use code XML code to create our design so I'll get, create here a button so I'll use the button tag and then it takes some properties it takes a layout width so I'll uh, uh, make this match parent match parent means that it will expand to the width of the parent and per height I will give it fx height so I'll give it 60 dp and then um, I'll add in an id to this button so with this id we can get this button or uh, connect to this button in our code file so I'll give it an id of round btn and then I will add in a text to this button text so um, I'll add uh, round um, button. I'll make this R capital. So now I'll close this. And now if I go to design, now you can see that we have a button here uh, which has the sticks rounded button. Now we will uh, add some constraint to this so I'll pin it from the top and from here I will give it in a margin of 32 dp so will, it will go down 32 from the top and now I'll uh, give some margin from this side and from this side I will give it 24 as well as from this side and from this side as well I will give it 24 now our button is looking fine now we want to make it round so we, we will uh, uh, make these corners round so for that uh, I'll come to this drawable and right click on this and now we will go to this new and drawable resource now from here I'll name this round uh, btn and now I'll click ok to create this now um, I'll remove this selector from it I'll, I will change this uh, selector to shape and now I'll go to the end of this tag here and I'll enter here and now I'll use shape and I will use rectangle so now I will give a color to the shape so for that I will come out of the shape tag and here I'll use solid uh, tag in here I will use Android color hash f d uh, 0 e 3 5 so now we have this pink color here and uh, I'll close this now we will to make its uh, its corners round we will use the corner tag so corners and I will use uh, Android radius and I will give it 20 dp now you can see that the corners become round now I'll close this tag and now if I go to this uh, activity main.xml file if you can't see it so it is inside this layout and activity main.xml file and I'll go to this uh, button and its code and here I will use background and I will use at drawable round button and now if I go to design now you can see a round corner button but if we look at to this round button the color is pink but uh, uh, here the default blue is shown so uh, I'll go to code and make this button 
app compact button so I'll use button and this one app compact button and now if I go to design now you can see that the button changed to this pink one now I will add some strokes to this button so for that I will come to this uh, run button dot xml file and here I'll use the stroke uh, tag and here it takes a width so I'll use a uh, 5 dp and uh, I'll use uh, the color hash 0 0 0 0 0 the black default black color so now if I go to activity man dot xml and uh, now you can see um, these strokes around the button now if I run this quickly on the emulator so now the application is running and you can see a beautiful round uh, corner button on your screen so now we will add in another button onto this and this time we will add in a circular button so I will go to code and here I'll create uh, a button so I will use button and I will use this app compact one and here I will use a uh, 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 width to 120 dp and the height as well 120 dp and this time we will use selector and I will uh, add an id to this so id and this will be id circular circular and I will uh, also add in a uh, text to this so text uh, circular button now if I go to design and uh, you can see the button here so I'll drag it down uh, to the bottom of this button and I will place it here now I'll give it some margin from the top so I'll give it uh, 32 dp or make this uh, 50 dp from the top and uh, I'll pin it to this side as well as this side so that it uh, remains in the middle of the screen so now I will add in another drawable resource here into this drawable so I'll new drawable resource file and this time I'll use a circle or circular btn and now I'll click OK so this time we will go with this selector and uh, when the uh, button is selected it will uh, change its color so for that I will use items inside this selector so I'll use item and uh, and this item I will use in droid uh, state pressed and I will use false and uh, now I will close this and now inside this I will use uh, a shape so shape and uh, I will use uh, Android shape and I will use all and now I'll close this all shape and now inside this we will use solid color so I'll use solid and uh, Android color I'll use hash F A zero nine this is zero nine and uh, a d now I'll close this and uh, I'll copy this item from here up to this ending of item control C this and now I'll paste it inside the selector and now I'll change this to true this false to true and I will change this color as well and I will change this color to um, hash C2 uh, 1 3 uh, 2 1 so this is this red color 
now I'll go to this uh, activity main.xml and uh, I'll go to code and uh, I will use the background tag here property here and I will use a drawable circle circular button and now if I go to design you can see a circular button here now if I run this quickly so now the application is running again and then if I click on this button now you can see the this transition between red color and this pink color so when it is pressed it changes color to red now we will create a gradient button so for that I will come to this code quickly and here down here I'll create another button so I'll use a button Android app compared button and uh, match parent for width and uh, for height I will use 60 dp and now I will use text and I will use a gradient button and I will use a close this tag and I will use an ID on this as well so ID and uh, I'll use ID uh, gradient and now I'll go to design and you can see this button here so I'll drag it down from this top to bottom of this uh, circular button and now I'll pin it from the top and give it 50 margins from the top and now I'll give it uh, margins from this side and it will be 24 and I will give it uh, margins from this side and it will also be 24 so we have created the button now we will create the gradient drawable resource so far that I will come here new new drawable resource file and I will use the here gradient btn and now I, I will click ok now I'll go to this round button and now I'll copy all of this code control a this control c this and now I'll go to this gradient button and control a this and control v it here now we have created this now we will use the gradient uh, um, here so for that I will remove this uh, solid tag and I will use gradient so gradient and I will use a uh, start color so for start color I will use uh, hash ff um, 0 0 0 0 0 0 and then I'll use uh, the uh, uh, center color so for center color I will use a uh, hash ff f f 0 0 and then I'll use the end color so for end color I'll use hash f f c c and 0 0 and now I'll close this and now I'll come here to this uh, activity man dot xml and uh, to this button but first we have to go to code and here I'll use the background property on this so I'll use background and uh, a drawable gradient btn and now if I go to design now you can see this beautiful gradient button so now if I run this so now the application is running and so you can see a beautiful gradient button on your screen here now we will add uh, click events to this these button so for that I will come to this code file and here I will use wall uh, round equals um, find view control space by ID and now I'll use button here and uh, I'll use or dot ID dot round button and then similarly I will copy this from here up to here control C this and now I'll control V it here and control V it here 
now this will become circular circle and I will use here circular and then this will become gradient and this will also become gradient and now we will quickly create click events on this button so round dot set on click listener so new view or view dot on click listener and similarly I will copy this control C this and control V this and control V this again now I'll show a toast here so toast dot make text and this comma and around comma toast dot length short dot show and I'll copy this I'll paste it here and I'll make this uh, circular circle and this will become circular and similarly I will copy this here as well and this will become gradient and this will become gradient as well now let's run it and let's check it so now the application is running on the device so let's check it so if I click on this round button so round is uh, shown in toast now if I click on this circular button circular is shown on this toast and now if I click on this uh, gradient button so gradient sh is shown now you can also apply this uh, pressed or selector on these two button as well so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you